Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Job Shop USA. My name is Keith and I'm your host. All right, we're going to be doing some heat treating today. It's probably not going to be the most interesting video, um, but it is going to show you that we've gone through the process of heat treating. We took a file and retested this right today before we go for heat treating, and it is hard but not extremely hard I can scratch it and uh, and I can scratch the raw material of 4140 uh, 4130 and 4140 oil quenching that's what we're gonna we're gonna do an oil quench so this is my quenching oil and this is my bucket here that sits down into a nice five gallon pail it sits nice and comfortable on the floor so out of the oven and into the oil we're going to do both gears at the same time. And I was contemplating the mass. All right. So each one of these is four pounds. So it's eight pounds of material going into this oil at the same time. And, uh, and you can see uh, them actually in there. I'm looking to get them a little bit harder and I'm actually taking it that the size and of oil and the amount here is probably not going to make them super rock hard. And that's fine with me. I want to make them harder than they are in the stock material state. And uh, so that's what I'm shooting for today. I brought over the spline here, the cog that slides back and forth on here and just kind of double checking all my dimensions and kind of where I'm at and the amount of material that I have extra that I'm going to have to grind off. And I'm just really happy with it. I also brought in my acetone and I cleaned out the centers and I wiped all of them down so that they didn't have any oil film on them. Uh, so they're going to, they're clean. All right. So we're going to heat treat these clean and we're going to have shielded gas. It's going to be the first time I've done a shielded gas heat treat. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get underway. Big doors open, and I'm gonna go put on the big circulating fan there before we get started because ventilation is uh, is pertinent to any time you're using the ovens. And uh, uh, so I think we're about ready to get this going. All right. Okay, we got our ventilation going, and we're set to go. All right, we'll go ahead and flip on our power here. Okay, we'll put on our gas. All right, we're not sure how much to run here. We're gonna put it on eight here. We're gonna give that a, we're gonna give that a, uh, an attempt there. So now it's pretty much a, a waiting game. We'll get our oil and the rest of our stuff all set up. 
Okay, we've been soaking at 1600 degrees for 20 minutes and I'm gonna call it uh, it and I'm ready to pull them out of the oven here. Um, Okay, here we go. Let's take a peek at them. Minimal scaling, really nice. Okay, let's grab the other one. What a big difference. The first one I put in might have a little better reaction than the second one to put in there, but we'll give them the file test and we'll see how close they are. Okay, our oven is dropping down, and those are going to take a while to cool off. Let's go ahead and pull them out of the oil here, and we'll get them in on the tray here, and we'll get them, start gripping them up. I brought you zoomed in on these two pieces. I laid them right in here from the oil. Um, and they've sat here until they're down to temperature. I think they're, they're just slightly above temperature. I think the table's like 77 and these are reading like 83 or 84 with the uh, infrared there. All right. So they're normalized and this is how they came out. I'm surprised on how minimal the shaling or the surface peeling, whichever way you'd like to talk about it, um, is on these shafts. And, and, be, and I wanted you to see the first attempt of scrubbing or just taking and we're going to wire brush. Descale or whatever you want to call it. They do come out pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna do a little on this one here as well. We'll take the air and we'll blow them off because once you take the little flake off there, it's kind of, they're like laying all over the place and they're still slightly oiled. Even though it looks like they're drained off, that's just the natural surface on here now.
That's pretty cool. Even the little roots, these are going to be pronounced. Um, everywhere that's just a relief in here is all going to be pronounced afterwards, just like, just like the sample. You can see down in there. You can see right here. And all the surfaces are going to be ground just like this. I wiped them down and blew them off afterwards. Got a nice looking color to it. Doesn't have a lot of peeling. It looks like a nice uniform blackening on, on here. All right. Now the test is, do we create any hardness in it? I can still scratch into that. They're as hard, if not a little bit harder than my stock shaft, which is all I can ask for. I'm not an expert in heat treating. You've seen me do some uh, wood stove heat treating and things like that. I have done what I needed to do to get the results I needed for my individual projects. And I don't know how much longer I'll have to go, but uh, you will see Pearl run with these shafts and you'll see how long they last or at least whether they expire or I expire first anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, it looks like we have, uh, some shafts to finish up here. All right, I'm getting ready to clean up my bowl here and I can, I can tell when I emptied this back into the container and I was able to pour it all out except for this little bit of scaling in here. The scaling mostly as I was pulling it out of the oven. You saw how clean they were, and it's almost turning shaling right in front of the camera shot there. So the little bit of shaling it did is pretty much opening the door <laughs> and taking the time to get it from there into the oil. Um, but this is very, very light. The pieces actually, you, you can't even pick them up. They actually just crumble in your hand like they're nothing. Um, it, it's, it's unbelievable how thin it is. The surface you see on these just shows you the difference because I've had some stuff and it comes out looking black calico, you know, shapes and chunks. And you can feel surface texture through the bumps and the peels and all of that. And this is just pretty much black. That's it. It's just color. That's all. Um, really nice. M Lineal scrubs with the wire brush this way did that. Um, and then going with the... Uh, the machine marks uh, around the diameters kind of cleared that off right off the bat. And the centers look nice and clean. And of course, some people ask you, hey, how are you telling the difference with the file? Well, it's the file and fingernail test, okay? So I can feel that I'm actually grooving it here and I actually, I it's just taking the color off, okay? But if I really want to really press down hard, I know I could probably groove into there but with the same pressure that I can groove here, I'm not grooving it on those. That's how I come up with that determination. All right, it's not rocket science. You know, the width of these splines here, I've got 437, 438, all day long on both of these. The original is 431, 432. And feeling just a little tiny bit of play. 
And of course, the only way to really truly do is get some uneven or adjustable parallels and slip them in there and then make it fat. I have a pair in there. I might uh, check that out here. I'm going to see if I can get a pair small enough to get down in there because I am measuring about 437, 438. So if anything's going to come off the side of these, it's very, very little. But I've already got my jig set up in the surface grinder i've got to make a few stops indexing tools and a couple things like that get out all my stones and start planning how i'm going to shape those stones to grind that root we know how we're going to grind these ods in the lathe we got that down pat and i have a cool mist coming on its way uh so we'll be setting up in the rutland here we're putting a big push on it because we're going to be taking the Rutland, cleaning it up. I'm going to drop a three-phase motor into it. And then we're going to be boxing it up, crating it up. And we're going to get it ready to be shipped to its new owner in October. All right. We're going to follow up with some videos on giving the lathe tools. Um, we also have a small mill from uh, my old, old shop. Um, we're going to be putting together a few things there. So we're going to be shipping out a small machine shop to a lucky person for Christmas this year. All right. I know it's short and sweet and um, <laughs> we accomplished one thing today. We got our shafts heat treated and we're ready for the next step. All right. Thanks for visiting Job Shop USA. My name is Keith. Get her done. Thank you.